Have you ever wondered why Alexander, a young king from the small kingdom of Macedon, is still remembered as the Great after more than two millennia? Alexander, a name that resonates through the corridors of time, was not just a king, but a phenomenon. Born in the heartland of Macedon, he was a prodigy who ascended to the throne at a tender age. His early life was marked by rigorous training and exposure to the finest minds of his era, preparing him for the challenges that lay ahead. His reign however is shrouded in mystery. He was a paradox, a blend of ruthless ambition and strategic genius. His initial conquests which expanded Macedon beyond its borders, were only the opening act of his global theater. He was a force that swept across nations reshaping the world as we know it. Alexander's ambition was not to be confined to the borders of Macedon, he was ready to conquer the world. Alexander's reign was marked by relentless conquests, transforming him from a king to an emperor. The first major campaign of Alexander's reign was the invasion of Persia. In 334 BC he crossed the Hellespont, a strategic move that signaled the beginning of his legendary military exploits. He faced his first significant challenge at the Battle of Granicus, where he defeated a Persian force with his superior tactical acumen and fearless leadership. But his most famous victory came at the Battle of Issus in 333 BC. Despite being outnumbered, Alexander demonstrated his strategic brilliance, using the narrow battlefield to his advantage. He forced the Persian king Darius to flee, leaving his family in Alexander's hands. Next, he set his sights on the island city of Tyre. The Siege of Tyre, in 332 BC was a testament to Alexander's determination and innovative military tactics. Facing a city surrounded by water he ordered the construction of a causeway to breach its walls, a feat that took seven grueling months. His victory at Tyre further solidified his control over the eastern Mediterranean. His venture into Egypt was met with little resistance as the Egyptians welcomed him as a liberator from Persian rule. Alexander's stay in Egypt was marked by the founding of Alexandria, a city that would become a beacon of Hellenistic culture and knowledge. However the real test of his military prowess came at the Battle of Gaugamela in 331 BC. It was here that he faced King Darius for the final time. Despite being significantly outnumbered, Alexander employed an audacious strategy that led to a decisive victory, shattering the Persian army and forcing Darius to flee once more. By the age of 25, Alexander had toppled the mighty Persian Empire, becoming the undisputed ruler of Asia. In just a few years, Alexander had transformed a small kingdom into an empire that stretched from Greece to Egypt, and as far east as India. His military campaigns are still studied today for their innovative tactics and strategies, a testament to his enduring legacy as one of history's greatest military minds. But Alexander's reign was not just about victories and glory, there was a darker side to it. Alexander the Great, a figure often lauded for his strategic acumen and relentless pursuit of expansion, also employed ruthless strategies to maintain control over his vast empire. He was not just a strategic genius, he was a master manipulator, a cunning tactician, and a ruthless ruler. His reign was a paradox of extraordinary brilliance and brutal violence. Consider the Massacre of Thebes a chilling episode in Alexander's reign. In 335 BC Thebes revolted against Alexander's rule. The response was swift and merciless. Alexander ordered his forces to destroy the city, sparing only temples and the house of the poet Pindar. The once thriving city was reduced to rubble, its inhabitants either slaughtered or sold into slavery. This act of unflinching brutality sent a clear message to the rest of Greece and the wider world, resistance to Alexander's rule would be met with devastating consequences. But the massacre of Thebes was not an isolated incident. Throughout his reign, Alexander dealt with revolts with an iron hand. When the people of Bactria and Sogdiana revolted, Alexander responded with similar severity. He waged a ruthless war, employing scorched earth tactics, leaving behind a trail of destruction and despair. Even his own men were not immune to his ruthless behavior. When his trusted officer Parmenio was implicated in a plot against him, Alexander did not hesitate to have him executed. This incident further cemented the culture of fear and obedience that permeated his court. However, it is important to remember that ruthlessness was not just a character flaw in Alexander, it was a strategic tool. His brutal responses to revolts and conspiracies were designed to deter any future uprisings. His tactics, though brutal, were effective in maintaining control over his vast empire. Fear and ruthlessness were as much a part of Alexander's reign as his military genius. Alexander's reign was a complex tapestry of brilliance and brutality, 
a testament to the lengths a man will go to maintain power and control. Despite the savagery of his reign, Alexander's legacy remains undiminished. His conquests, as ruthless as they may have been, left an indelible mark on the world that stretches far beyond the pages of history books. One of the most significant cultural impacts of his conquests was the spread of Greek culture, a process known as Hellenization. Alexander didn't just conquer lands, he imbued them with the essence of Greek thought, art, and science. From the pillars of Greek architecture to the nuanced philosophies of Socrates and Plato, he disseminated these cultural elements across his vast empire, from Egypt to Persia, and beyond. Yet, beneath the glittering facade of Hellenization, lies a more somber reality. Many of the regions Alexander conquered were forced to adopt Greek customs and language, often at the expense of their own indigenous cultures. This cultural imposition, while it did foster a unique blend of Greek and local traditions, also led to the loss of many rich cultural heritages. Now let's turn to the aftermath of Alexander's death. The immense empire he had built did not survive him. In the power vacuum that followed his demise, his empire was divided among his generals, known as the Diadochi. This division sparked a series of wars, the Wars of the Diadochi, which further reshaped the political landscape of the ancient world. The fragments of Alexander's empire nonetheless continued to bear the imprint of his reign. The cities he founded, the cultural exchanges he facilitated, and the political turmoil he left in his wake, all testified to the far-reaching influence of his rule. Alexander's reign was a paradox of brilliance and brutality, leaving a legacy that continues to intrigue us even today. His life serves as a stark reminder of the duality of power, its capacity to inspire and innovate but also to destroy and dominate. As we delve deeper into the annals of history we continue to grapple with this complex and enduring legacy of Alexander the Great.